We have the latest on breaking news from up at KCI, a Southwest Airlines 737-800 series making an emergency but safe landing at KCI a short time ago after a possible hail strike. News Chopper 9's Johnny Rollins up in the air. Johnny, what do we know? Well, we know uh, this could have involved some severe turbulence as well, which would go hand in hand with hail. If you uh, end up in a thunderstorm with hail, you're going to have some pretty significant turbulence as well. We believe this is a jet. We haven't completely confirmed that, but I can tell you that it does appear it's at gate uh, 37. That's what we've heard. And also we've seen some activity as far as inspections going. Now, what we would expect to see, and you have the radio, what we would expect to see would be damage to any of those leading edge surfaces. So the front of that vertical fin, uh, the horizontal uh, stabilizer and elevator there, the front of the horizontal stabilizer, front of the wings, uh, right, the, uh, the engine intake there as, uh, as well, the cowling, and then the front of the jet too. So uh, right now it looks like uh, perhaps some inspections going on. A couple of minutes ago, they also dropped off, uh, looked like four or five firefighters. Now, we're not exactly sure what was up with that, other than uh, we did know that they did call the trucks out when this jet was landing this afternoon as a precaution. As soon as they landed safely, they were sent back to the barn, but uh, they did drop off a few firefighters just a couple of minutes ago at this Southwest Airliner parked at gate 37, Terminal B at KCI. So it looks like an inspection underway. Got to think it was a harrowing ride for those on board this jet this afternoon trying to get, I believe they were headed either to Chicago or Austin one way or the other. Uh, that was the route and uh, close to Kansas City ran into those storms we were dealing with earlier. Johnny Rollins, News Chopper 9, back to you in the studio. Johnny, hang on there for just a second. This is Southwest Airlines 1265. Mm -hmm. This was Midway Chicago heading to Austin when it mm -hmm. ran into either turbulence, hail or all of the above somewhere over uh, far northeast Missouri, <coughs> far southwest Iowa. We're going to get to Brian Busby here in just a moment. But, but Johnny, take us, pilots, especially commercial pilots, uh, especially captains who are in the left-hand seat of a 737 train for moments like this all the time, do, do they not? Well, they do, and unfortunately, you know, everybody says, well, how could this happen? They have radar, they have all these uh, uh, devices on board that can help them detect uh, severe turbulence and all that kind of stuff. but. You know, these thunderstorms are very fickle. We keep, uh, when we're chasing tornadoes and, uh, and covering that in News Chopper 9, we uh, have a, a very specific uh, uh, methodology, we will, uh, for lack of a better term, where we know exactly where to be with the storm to uh, stay out of trouble. But there are times when uh, we'll be where we think we need to be and something unexpected will happen. So uh, obviously they would not have intentionally flown into hail. Something showed on radar that it was uh, okay to go where they went. Uh, or perhaps it was a rapidly developing storm, and by the time uh, they got into it, they didn't have any other choice but to ride it out. Uh, all sorts of scenarios could play out here, but uh, whatever. You know that uh, hail, of course, much larger in the top portion of a thunderstorm that we see on the ground, and this would not be the first hail encounter uh, that uh, has done a lot of damage to a plane. In fact, there, there have been uh, several accidents where, and one in particular I remember years ago, I believe it was, I can't remember, in Allegheny Airlines, I believe, DC-9, where both of the engines flamed out, the uh, encounter was so strong, and from that, a lot of safety uh, measures were put in place as far as how to read radar and how to uh, tell whether or not you're going into the heaviest part of the storm. Actually, the radar, at that point, with attenuation, telling them they were going through a clear po uh, part of the storm. It was only because there was so much hail, the radar beams couldn't penetrate the storm, so it looked like it was clear. They just kind of bounced off that, and it looked like this little strip of rain, and they got in big trouble. So uh, here you go, another encounter with hail here uh, with this uh, 737 this afternoon. Back to you in the studio. Real quick now to Chief Meteorologist Brian Busby as we look at crews obviously inspecting the wing there. Mm -hmm. Brian, take us through what sort of weather that uh, jet was going through at the well, time. Well, remember, jo uh, Johnny was talking about the hail being much larger in the cloud itself, and if the updraft is so strong to juggle millions of pieces of ice, it can do some damage, especially if your plane's going at hundreds of miles an hour through that. They were trying to probably thread the needle in between these two clusters of thunderstorms if they were starting in Chicago and moving farther southwest toward Austin. So here you notice over the last couple of frames they are dying out, but I would tell you it's not always easy, as Johnny mentioned. Sometimes they do start to flare up, sometimes they ebb and flow, but I think the indications are they were trying to go through southeastern portions of Iowa, northeastern Missouri, then down toward Austin, but this is what they encountered. And this is the same system that brought us a 60 and 70 70 mile an hour winds close to Kansas City. Chris. All right, as we look at uh, one more live picture from KCI, no reported injuries as of yet. An, an inspection of that airplane continues, obviously, as you can see. Southwest 1265 running into bad weather, turbulence, 
and making an emergency landing at KCI. Continuing coverage right now at KNBC.com.